This is Turkana, one of the arid and semi-arid areas in our country, Kenya. An area usually characterized by pastoralism and drought. Not where these lovely girls live. To achieve the 10% economic growth envisaged in Vision 2030, transformation of smallholder agriculture from subsistence to an innovative, commercially oriented and modern agricultural sector will be accomplished through developing of more irrigable areas in arid and semi-arid lands. This is what the National Irrigation Board is doing in Turkana, expansion of the cultivated area through irrigation. The impact has been great, as you realize. Before we came on board, uh, the entire Trukana County was uh, affected by drought and starvation. Hunger was actually on the high rise. And every year, uh, this place, I mean, around Lokuba and uh, Lelea, these areas, they used to receive uh, relief food from the government. But since we came on board, relief supplies have not uh, been coming, simply because the farmers have got enough to feed on. When we came in, in the year 2011, the whole of this block was actually bush. It was under prosopis. But uh, we came in with the machinery and opened up the, the whole area. That the acreage of the scheme, the total acreage of the scheme is 1,260 acres. And by the time we came in, only 300 acres was under crop. So with NIB's initiative and, uh, and support from the government, we have been able to open up the entire scheme. Last year, the entire scheme was under crop. We managed to crop the entire scheme by supporting the farmers, actually. We brought in inputs and uh, even uh, farm tractors to open up uh, to, to do land preparation, and the farmers were able to engage in uh, agricultural activities. Mal to our size, to kwa Katilu irrigation scheme. Na Katilu irrigation scheme, kwa hii mrade ambaye na inaendesha sasa hii sisi tuna tumefurahia sisi wakulima kwa sababu gani hii scheme ilikuwa imekuwa bush ilikuwa imejaa masenge na miti yote ikawa msitu mpaka ikawa hapa mali tunakaa hapa ni pokoti peke yake ikawa mkulima kufika hapa kwa scheme ikawa ni china lakini wakati serikali alileta hii mradi ya NIB ndio sisi wote hata wao kiangalia sasa hii unafurahia Pia, NIB ametusaidia kwa sababu tumejaribu hata njia kusomesha watoto yetu. Sae watoto wako sekwandari, tunalipa. Tuna Pia mamba ya relief. Sisi tulikuwa tumelishwa na mamba ya relief. Sae sisi hatupati relief sisi wakulima ya katilo irrigation scheme. Sae tunatagamea chakula ambazo sisi wanyewe tunatawa na mikono zetu. Ukiangalia hapa kando yako, hii, hii ndizi ya yeko wakakuja waka wakaanza kubunu kitu naitwa model farm ambayo ya kupanda mbegu e, nereka mchele e, pau pau kila aina ya mimea mtama kila aina mimea na tukaona yote inaistawi ina katika hili area tunashukuru it is estimated that intensified irrigation can increase agricultural productivity fourfold and depending on the crops incomes can be multiplied 10 times. Historical records show that irrigation in Kenya has existed for many years along the River Tana, Elgeo Marakwet, West Pokot, and Baringo districts. Asian workers building the Mombasa-Nairobi railway line also started some irrigation around Makindu and Kibwezi. <laughs> tolewa tikiija hapa kutengeza hii irrigation mwaka hiyo ya 50 na moja mwezi wa 6 tarehe 10 chilikuwa na wasungu nasema tatu moja ilikuwa anaitwa Naobi mwingine bwana Kiko mwingine anaitwa Makosi land ndio ilikuwa anakaa hapa tunaita nguu simba iko hali inaitwa nguu yeye ilikuwa mwanjilisi wa kutengeza hii kazi akija kuangalia maana yake wale wa makuweni ni mbali the National Irrigation Board was established in 1966 through an Act of Parliament, Cap 347.
The National Irrigation Board is a government corporation formed under Cap 347 of the laws of Kenya in 1966, being one of the first corporations formed by an independent government. So with the mandate of promoting the development of irrigation in the country and resettling the landless people at, that, at its formation. And this it did by taking over the schemes that had been developed during the colonial periods, which were Pakera, Hola, and uh, Mwea. Uh, thereafter, the, the board also developed its own schemes in Bora, Ahero, Bunyala, uh, West Kano, and also expanded Hola, uh, Mwea, and Pakera schemes. National Irrigation Board is optimistic. It can convert 80% of Kenya's arid and semi-arid regions into rich source markets of agriculture produce before 2030, going by the current growth of existing schemes. The government developed a medium-term framework and Vision 2030, in which it focused on development of 1 million acres, but by the year 2030. This meant that uh, the development would take uh, about 17 years from, let's say, this year to achieve 1 million acres. When the Jubilee government came, came on power, started, the, first of all, from the campaigns, they realized this would take a long time, especially with the unpredictable weather. We have floods and uh, alternating with the dry period the droughts they decided that this period had to be shortened. Therefore, the Jubilee government decided that we need to do the 1 million acres in five years rather than in 17 years. Since 2003, the National Irrigation Board has embarked on rehabilitation and expansion of existing irrigation schemes, as well as construction of new ones. So far, 122 projects have been developed under the expanded irrigation program. The projects include Mitungu, Rapsu, Malkadaka, Kibwezi, Kapkuikui, Eldume, Sandai, Katilu, Morulem, Nakomoru irrigation schemes. As you may well know, Kenya has high and high and medium potential agriculture areas and asal areas. And most of the major schemes are generally in the ASAL areas. We, the, this country has about 9.8 million acres, he, million hectares of land in the ASAL that can be developed in irrigation. And this is partly where we are now focusing. Through the expanded National Irrigation Program, the board has launched an aggressive plan through which it plans to cost effectively improve crop production in target regions. Inefficient irrigation techniques such as furrows are being replaced with cost-effective methods, resulting in modernization of irrigation activities in regions with scarce water resources. The rivers we have serving the eight districts are all seasonal except River Athi, which is serving Loayata. So in this respect, for us to support irrigated agriculture, we have to look for better ways of utilizing this water. Better ways of conserving this water and better ways of capturing this water. That's why we started with greenhouses as one of the projects. And greenhouses in this region, we have had from, national, uh, from the extended program, 114 greenhouses, which is uh, going to about 2.45 hectares and serving over 3,400 farmers. The advantages of these greenhouses is that we can use water more efficiently. We can work even when it is raining because it is housed. We can control the microclimate inside the greenhouse. By using drip irrigation, water is conveyed under pressure through a pipe system to the fields where it drips slowly onto the soil through emitters or drippers which are located close to the plants. Only the immediate root zone of each plant is wetted. 
The board has installed a complete drip irrigation system for 800 acres in Kibwezi, making the scheme the largest drip irrigation system for farmers in Kenya. We have a national irrigation board to get this board, and we have a lot of money. We have a lot of money to get the money. Because the money is going to be in the middle. We have a climate change that may take it to stall around this place, even around, I think, in Kenya. So, we have a lot of money to get the money to get the money to drip. The money is going to get the money to get the money. Kusema ukweli, kilemo cha faro ni very expensive. Sababu natumia maji mingi ambayo inaribika dani ya faro. Faro moja yeza kutumia ta drum tano, one faro. Lakini ni drip, few drops, one acre. Within one hour, inatoshileka na, na drip lines. Na pia kulimia weeding. Ni, ni, ni rais sana kulima, kilemo cha, cha, cha faro. Ja, ja drips hakuna uh, kwe kwe mingi sana inakuja shamba langu nalima nyanya eka kama tatu uh, nina uwezo wa kutoa kireti kama mia moja pa wiki kupeleka Mombasa Kongoya local markets wanakuja hapa kununua nyanya locally apart from nyanya inalima sukuma wanapeleka kwa town kuuza kwa villages even up to Voi, wanakuja kutoka hapa, wanapeleka uh, Voi, Manyani, hata Mombasa na, napeleka kwa ngoya sometimes, ikiwa mingi. Sina shida kulipa fees, nikitaka fees natoa kwa shamba yangu. Hata wakienda paraleo, niko na uwezo wa kuwalipia shule kutoka kwa shamba yangu. National Irrigation Board uh, ilionelea itutoe katika faro irrigation ikiingiza katika drip irrigation na hii imetuongezea maji ya uh, ukulima ikawa sasa badala ya kulima nusu eka unaweza zaka lima eka tatu na ikawa sasa mchanga uh, conservation imefanyika ikawa kuna kuharibika kwa mchanga na kuna kupotea kwa maji uh, kupitia katika faro uh, sasa ikawa wakulima wameuzishwa wengi maji iliyokuwa inatumika kwa mkulima mmoja ikawa sasa watano wanaweza sasa kuuzishwa katika ukulima wa eh, kunyunyuzia mashamba Most regions in the country are benefiting from the installation of drip irrigation kits and distribution of greenhouses Si tunameona faida kubwa kwenye hiki kundi sasa siku, siku hizi hatununui mboga tunauza sukuma zetu tomatoes tumeanza kufuna saa hii ndio tumeanza kufuna tunangawana kila mtu anapeleka nyumbani na zingine tunauza tunapeleka kwa account sasa account yetu imeanza kukua na pesa na pesa na hii mradi vile tunaona tukiendelea tutakuwa tuna uwezo wa kusomesha watoto wetu na hatutapata ja tena Sprinkler irrigation is similar to natural rainfall Water is pumped through a pipe system and then sprayed onto the crops The schemes under sprinklers include Iviani, Marega, Muringa banana among others Another method is a center pivot sprinkler irrigation system. Center pivots are adaptable for any height crop and are particularly suited to lighter soils. The board has installed the center pivot system in Bura irrigation scheme, targeting 1,000 acres. 
As part of modernization, the board has installed traveling gun irrigation system in Tana Irrigation Scheme, covering 1,000 acres. Reducing seepage losses is the most important reason for canal lining. This increases water conveyance efficiency. Lining of canals is being prioritized in the new schemes being developed, such as RAPSU, Lower Kuja Irrigation Scheme in Migori, and Lower Sio Project in Busia County. And now, currently, the National Irrigation Board is doing the work. We really appreciate it. There are some problems with the water due to downstream catchments. But with the completion of this project, I believe the problem will cease. So we are benefiting a lot and we are in a mood to see how fast this project is going to be completed so that we benefit from it. Currently the population in Rapsu are around 1,500 households. We plant onions in plenty, tomatoes, beans, maize, and other crops such as bananas, mangoes, other citrus crops as well. Other existing schemes whose canals have been lined include Moya Irrigation Scheme through funding from World Bank, Bura and Pekera Irrigation Schemes. Canal lining allows additional areas to be cropped, thus increasing crop productivity. We have just completed a project whereby we have been rehabilitating the scheme and I'm sure you've seen the work that we did. This uh, particular project was aimed towards improving water uh, management, uh, reducing the losses that we are we were experiencing after the scheme uh, degenerated uh, during the time when we had uh, uh, the scheme being run by farmers on their own. So we have restored most of that infrastructure. And with that, we are now seeing more water being available for production. Part of this water that we have saved is the ones now that we want to push down downstream to the outgrow areas and ensure that they also have an opportunity to produce more food and more rice. For effective irrigation, water storage is very important. Through funding from JICA, the board is developing the Diba Dam that will stabilize the flow of water in the Moya irrigation scheme and expand the scheme from 22,000 acres to 50,000 acres. We are planning to do a dam, a major dam in Kirinyaga County called Thiba Dam. This dam is being done specifically to aid the expansion in the scheme. The board is concluding a study in Pekera to stabilize water flow in Pekera River by constructing a dam at Radat and modernizing the irrigation system to attain 10,000 acres. Other dams to be developed for water storage include the Mara. Lowat, Thwake, Nyatike, Maira Dams, among others. Furrows are small channels which carry water down the land slope between crop rows. Water infiltrates into the soil as it moves along the slope. The board has reverted Katilu and Lokubai irrigation projects in Turkana County back to Faro system from basin flooding method and provided siphons for farmers to use. When we came here NIB in 2011, we reinstated the irrigation system that was started by FAO or Faro irrigation system and also we also introduced feeding of the water from the feeder canals into the field using the siphon pipes. On production part, we started, uh, we started assisting the farmers on production support and land preparation, provision of the inputs, and also assisting them in uh, capacity building, sensitizing them on crop husbandry practices in the Trukana region. <laughs>
the cost of maintaining pumped schemes is very high. The board has undertaken designs to adopt gravity-fed system of irrigation in the following schemes. Ahero, West Kano, Southwest Kano, Bura, and Tana irrigation schemes. The same is also used in Katilu and Lokubai. This move will enhance the board's expansion efforts and thus increase area under irrigation. NIB's research focuses on development of new irrigation schemes and improvement of irrigation efficiency. MIAD, which is the main research arm of National Irrigation Board. The mandate of NIB definitely is uh, irrigation. And I would want to say that uh, in the nation, the country, this institution is the main institution that is uh, particularly dealing with irrigated agricultural research. Um, the kind of research that we've been doing uh, are uh, research based on increasing crop uh, water productivity and also crop, uh, crop, uh, uh, crop water use efficiency or water use efficiency and we are also focusing on what we call system uh, irrigation system management uh, research. In this respect we carry out uh, trials that are related to water use efficiency in the field or productivity in the field soil uh, conditions that are supposed to be uh, that are found in the, in, the, in, the, in the respective irrigation schemes so that we can be able to tell how much water would be required and based on the crops that are grown after how long they should be irrigated. Bahero Irrigation Research Station in Kisumu County is the oldest irrigation research station in Kenya having been set up by the Kenyan government with the assistance of the government of Netherlands in 1968 to facilitate exploitation of the very big irrigation potential in the Kanu Plains and the Greater Lake Basin uh, region. The purpose of course was to carry out operational research uh, to facilitate uh, tackling of emerging issues as the area was opened up for irrigation. It was intended to help in identifying appropriate irrigated crop varieties that could be grown in that area, identify also the most appropriate irrigation technologies and water management practices uh, that would be uh, uh, used in the scheme, together with also other uh, important practices, practices uh, like uh, large preparation and uh, use of various agro uh, inputs like fertilizers and pesticides to, uh, to control diseases that will be identified within the scheme. The National Irrigation Board is expected to develop schemes and hand them to beneficiaries for operations and maintenance. We have also strengthened the institutions that we have the Water Use Association, which is a key institution in water management, we have also been building their capacity so that they can assist us in managing the water, especially at the on-farm level. NIB mainly has the responsibility of managing water in the secondary infrastructure, that is the intake, the branch canals, and also assisting farmers in managing water at the tertiary level. Revolving fund, sisi hatu kwa tunajua hapo hawali. Tumeletewa na ule kambuni tuambayo tuletewa na serikali NIB. Sasa tumeshika kwa sababu wakulima wamelewa mana ya revolving fund. Inamanisha eh, kutenga ama we mwenye kusimamia kitu yako na kuweka kitu ya kuchunga ile shamba kama ni shamba. Pesa ambazo zita rudi badai tena kwa shamba. Pesa hii ambayo inapatikana kwa mimea kutoka kwa shamba. Inategeleza karibu mambo matatu hivi. Inategeleza mambo kama ya kuweka pesa kwa mfuko, 
kwa uonekane mzito alafu ya pili inaweka e, chakula nyumbani ya tatu inarudisha e, pesa zingine kwa shamba kufanya ile kazi na hata watoto nalipiwa shule mtu akigonjeka anapelekwa hospitali kwa urais Rifaulu Fingpande ametufunza mambo mingi ndani ya skimu sisi tunafanya na 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 NIB mzuri ina participatory mana sababu sasa wanatuzisa kwa kasi wele inafanya tunaketi chini na wawa tunapanga cropping program work plan na pia wakati wa wa, wa, wa maji tunapanga rationing ikiwa hakuna maji ya kutosha ndio kila mtu apate maji to deliver the finest of Kenyan pishori rice, the harvested paddy is carefully selected and analyzed for quality by the experts. Mwe Rice Muse as a company is here to make sure that the farmer is not exploited by the local business people. What it does is that it makes sure that when it comes to pricing of paddy, when the farmers are selling, we set a price that we make sure that whoever would come uh, buy paddy from the farmer can only buy more than what we have actually set in the market. So we make sure that we are in the market the whole year. We make sure that we are, we, there is a price which is actually even known by the local people to make sure that whatever we've given the farmer is the best. Uh, Western Kenya rice mill I can say it's one of the modern mills within this region. At some time in the year 1990, uh, the government saw it uh, uh, important for uh, a mill to be put in this region so that it can uh, reduce the cost of transporting rice for milling in Moya and then brought back for Magatia. So we have got the Western Kenya rice mill, which is a joint uh, venture, if I may say so, between the National Irrigation Board and the farmers of the irrigation farmers of the Western Kenya. And uh, these farmers are uh, bought shares through the uh, cooperatives, and uh, so they are shareholders currently. The mill was initiated in the year 1990, and uh, the construction started in 1991. So 1992 is when the mill um, uh, was completed, and it started uh, milling immediately thereafter. And then in the year 1993 is when the mill was incorporated into a limited company. So the capacity of the mill is uh, 3.5 metric tons per hour, which is like uh, 44 bucks of 80 kilograms uh, uh, per hour. To efficiently attain the organization's vision and mission, where are we going from here? Our strategy is simple. Rehabilitate existing schemes, expand them, introduce new schemes, but also concentrate on a galana which, which will give us one million acres. <laughs> AIC. Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit. Find us on www.nib.or.ke on Twitter or Facebook. <laughs>